You mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers. Pigs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a licking. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shovel. Is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we... Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um... Can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. 
Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. Prince Noctis! Yeah? Prince Noctis, were... were you excited to marry Lady Lunafreya? Because she was really excited to marry you! She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. At first... The father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless... And... I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. Will we ever see the dawn again? How in the world could something like this happen? Perhaps this is the way it ends. Ray! 
ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a hollow when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open, if you need a break. Shall we shove off, then? Climb aboard. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. It's... snowing. Get your ass on board! Yes, sir. Look at all that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Once we get through Gore of us, we're there. We've come quite a long way. I wonder what it could be this time. Attention now. Yeah? What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped. As for the cause, outside the fix. We'll take a look. Oh, no. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. It's freezing. You better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Damn, it's cold. Let's clean up out here. Warm up in there. Better make this snappy. Come <laughs> on. 
They knocked! What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, there in a sack. Right. No way. You! Hold it! Oh, that son of a bitch.
In the days that follow the war, while the six are still asleep, the Pyreburner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the Frostbearer. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Six have safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The gods' protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyre Burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the Frostbearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them, the gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the pyre burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm, and, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the pyre burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins. Their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. And so the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now, I'll never have the chance. I'm so sorry.
I won't let you down. I know you won't. What are you looking at? Hey, wake up. What the hell happened? No. Are you alright? Yeah. I saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, Remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but he knew that. Huh. Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zagnortus, an Imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in, 